Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, we are going to show the school user to do data entry for Form 8 and Form 13. We will be covering the following topics in this video. Let's begin with addition of student particulars. Log into school dashboard and navigate to registration and forms. Select the form from drop down list. Select the category of student from the list. For this tutorial purpose, we will do data entry for regular and repeater category. Please note that the process is same for both Form 8 and 13. Enter the student particulars as shown in the screen. Once the data entry is complete, go ahead and click on Submit button to submit. On successful submission, a confirmation message will appear as shown in the screen. Now let's do data entry for a repeater student. Please note before proceeding, make sure to have the student registration number. Enter the student registration number and click on Fetch Student to pull the student particulars. Verify the details and click on Submit to complete the data entry. Now let's verify the data entry by going back to the registration and forms list. Next, we will show how to edit the student particulars in case of any corrections. Select the student from the list and click on Edit option. Make the necessary corrections and click on Submit. Next, we will show how to delete student particulars. Select the student from the list and click on Delete option. Click OK to confirm the delete. You can also use the View option to view the student particulars. Once all the data entry is done, you will need to make the registration or form fee payment to successfully complete the process. Your forms will only be accepted on successful payment only. Navigate to Registration and Forms Fees under Online Payments. Go to Make Payment and select the form payment from the lists. Please note you can make bulk or single or selected payment for students. For tutorial purpose, we will just make a single payment. Verify the details before making the fee payment. Once confirmed, it will redirect to online payment gateway, in which you can use any method of payment provided by the payment gateway. Follow the standard payment process. Please note online payment method will vary from bank to bank or mode of payment such as net banking, credit or debit card, UPI, etc. Once your payment is successful, it will redirect back to NBSE portal with a confirmation message, as shown in the screen. You can also view or download the payment receipt by clicking the View Receipt option. Now we will show you how to retry payment in case the payment was failed. Select the failed or pending payment from the list. Click on Options and View. Click the Retry Payment button to proceed with payment again. In case of any technical issues, you may create a ticket and help desk tool for further assistance. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching.